Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole McGuire and thank you so much for clicking on this video. To continue with the Dogme Dover week that I'm doing this week, today will be an unboxing of their Legend Tote. I think this is one of their most iconic bags. I think it was the first one to come out and I've been looking at it for a very long time. I've had it recommended to me. So I finally decided to bite the bullet and get the bag and I was lucky enough to be able to get it on sale. So if you're willing to get a color that maybe isn't your first choice, you can actually get this bag a little bit cheaper. Before we get started, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps me out as a small creator. Don't forget to subscribe down below and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video, which this week will be every single day. This is Dog Made Dover Week and I'm so excited to be reviewing this brand. I'm not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I'm just obsessed with the brand and wanted to show all of their products to y'all. I also recently made a bunch of purchases from them and felt like I needed to justify them. So, you know, if I make a YouTube video out of it, it's not a shopping addiction, right? Yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So, I have it here in its original, this is their signature camouflage print, and I have gotten it out of the box, so technically this is an unbagging, but I've not taken it out of the bag yet, so I'm really excited to do that on camera. <gasps> oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. Why am I nervous? I don't know, but I'm just really excited. Ooh. This is the largest size. It comes in three sizes, but I needed the one that would fit my 15 inch MacBook. So I got the largest size. I believe it's mini signature and legend, and this is the legend, but I will make sure to verify that information in the down bar below. Oh, so this is what it looks like. I'll back up a little so you can see it better. Oh, so pretty. So this is the bag in the sage color. It was a limited edition color and because of that, I was able to get it on super sale for like half off. The only downside is it was final sale. So if I do hate this bag, there's nothing I can do about it. So far though, I really like it. So let's get started with the outside of the bag. It is this brushed canvas. I feel like it would stand up really well to spills. It's kind of got like that, it's not leather. It's more of like a, I don't know, like a plasticky almost. It doesn't look cheap, so I am I like that, but I feel like you could spill something on this without having to worry about it, or you could get caught in the rain and not have to worry about your bag being ruined. One thing that I have heard about this bag is that these are just decoratives, which makes sense. I feel like this bag, if you filled it to the brim, would be too heavy to use a crossbody strap with. The first downside I'm noticing to this bag is these handles. They don't fall, so you kind of have to store it like this. Let's see if you can push them. No, they don't even get pushed down. So you have to have this much height to store the bag. Definitely not an issue for me since I have the room, but kind of annoying that the straps don't come down. Unzipping. Okay, so it does have a zip closure, which is nice. I feel like that's more secure than like a magnetic closure. Opening the bag. Ooh. Okay, so it's got a laptop pouch here. I will actually test putting my 15 inch laptop in here to make sure it fits. That was the biggest thing for me was making sure I could use this as a work bag and if it doesn't fit the laptop, then there's no point in me having this. Then there's another pouch here that I think would fit my iPad really well. There are, ooh, so this is in the same as the Legend Tote. It has a phone compartment as well as a good badge holder. So I feel like this would be a really, really good work bag. It also has like a lipstick or a pen carrier or like tampons because never have enough. And it also has this key ring in matching leather for your keys, which I talked about this in every single Dog Made Dover video I'm obsessed with. I love this feature. I lose my keys in the bottom of my bag all the time and it makes it super easy to find them. One thing I'm noticing off the bat, which I really like, is that the interior matches the exterior better for my Allen tote. It is more of like a camel look, which isn't really my vibe. And this is just a, a solid color stage, which is really nice because it fits the outside. I think, yeah, this is coming off green. It's more of a green than a gray, but it's in that nice middle ground. On the other side, there are, oh, they know how to do pockets, right? So there's two big pockets that could probably fit like a notebook. And then there's another zip pocket for like smaller items. There's a pocket here on the side and another D ring class. So you could add another one of these in if you would like. And then one of my, 
One thing I do love about the other bag that is included in this bag as well is the removable water bottle holder, but this thing is huge. Like, do you see how big that is? That isn't just like a Dasani water bottle. That is like a Yeti full cup. That is like a, I can't even think of any other water bottle brands right now. The really popular one that all the Visco girls have, Hydro Flask. This would fit a giant Hydro Flask. So that is it for my unboxing of the Legend Tote from Dagne Dover. I am not as excited about this bag as I am about my Allen Tote, but I do think because it's a more structured purse, it will hold up better. If you haven't seen the video yet and don't know what I'm talking about, I will link that other bag down below. It is my favorite purse. I'm obsessed. I bought that one after I bought this one, and I don't think I would have bought this one if I had known that I was gonna have both. Overall, it's a nice bag. It's a little overpriced for what it is, but it is a nice structured bag and I'm excited to try this out for work. If you want a full review of this product after I use it, drop a comment down below so that I know what y'all are looking for. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And don't forget to check out my other videos. I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.